All right, guys, got a few things here to show you that I pre-ordered. I had a pretty big pre-order of the week. Um, at the end of the month, I have literally zero uh, pre-orders coming in. So, we'll talk about that week when we get to it. But I got some stuff. I got a plan for that week. But it's that time again to crack open these pre-orders. I want to start with the DVD of Transformers Earth Spark. This is season one, part two, uh, episodes eleven through twenty-five. I do hate that this does not have a slip cover because the first volume of this did, and that does irk me a little bit. But it's okay. I got this, and that's all that really matters. Um, you get all the episodes right there. Disc one. Here, did I show it okay? You get all the episodes right there listed. And you get the uh, little Autobots fighting. Yeah, this is an okay show. I'm not hugely in love with it. But as a Transformers fan, did want to collect these as they came out. So I have that. And, uh, yeah. I, haven't, I don't think I've seen that part of the season. I think I only watched the first little bit that they dropped on Paramount Plus And then I didn't really watch past that. So, give me a chance to kind of catch up a little bit, I guess. I think I might restart watching the show. See if I get, get along with it better than I did the first time I watched it. Anyways, I got Footloose. On 4K, I did opt for the Steelbook this time. I usually go for the slip covers, but Paramount Steelbooks are really nice. And this was really affordable, this one. What? Oh, okay. I thought they put the poster inside, but they don't, which is... Look at that. They got the poster sticking to the back. Why would they... That's really bad actually because like, you guys pull off the sticky residue off your poster which is not what you want to do with the poster that's bad like why would they that actually bugs me a little bit but it's alright I got this nice little footloose poster which I'll find a nice spot for I'm already looking at places I can put it so do love me footloose I think it's one of the great American classics of the 80s you got this great uh, cassette look there or Walkman I should say uh, yeah kick off your Sunday shoes dancing in the streets let's hear it for for the boy almost paradise holding out for a hero just some of the track listings so there you go you get the you got all the some scenes of the movie everybody cut loose foot loose Kick off your Sunday shoes. And you got Ren's remix. Gotta cut loose. Yeah, um, I've heard mixed things about this transfer, but honestly, oh, I think this movie will look fine in 4K. Um, Footloose is a really interesting movie, and I can't wait to talk about it, because Footloose, if you guys, a lot of people, some of my audience may have never seen this movie. If you've never seen this movie, uh, this movie came out in the 80s, and this movie is a commentary on the Satanic Panic, which is a time in the 80s where, like, Christian conservatives were just afraid of everything. They were afraid of rock and roll, they were afraid of music, they were afraid of the way people were dancing. They do that now, too, but not in the same way. And it was a lot more crazy and absurd in the 80s than it was ever before. Except maybe like the 50s or the 40s or something like that. Something like that. But it's really bad in the 80s. And it got this like generational shift. And so this movie's about, you know, uh, this town that bans dancing. All the life and energy is just sucked out of it. And then these teenagers start to rebel and bring back dancing into the community and it's you know that's kind of what this movie is it's a uh it's a cultural thing and i think 
it's a movie that's still relevant today with how much Christians and conservatives are just trying to ban things that they don't like, that they think are satanic or evil or against their religion or whatever. And I think that's still a movie that will continue to be relevant decades later. So, very interesting movie for that reason. But yeah, and then one I thought we'd never get on Blu-ray... So I immediately had to pre-order this as soon as I get this was announced. I had this on DVD. I'm still happy to upgrade. I'm gonna probably watch this first of uh, this whole pile here, and that is Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny, the greatest motion picture of all time. It says right here. So uh, this is from Shout Factory, which I do. I am going to really criticize Shout Factory here. This release is $30 and there is no slip cover. This steelbook that's a 4K is $30. Same price. And uh, and this this had a poster, it's a steelbook, it's 4K. Here's a Blu-ray and no slip cover. Can't stand that shit. But you got this nice Blu-ray artwork there and you got some interior artwork and then on the back here it does actually list some special features so this isn't quite Last Man Standing bad if you guys remember that review I hated that release to be honest I didn't hate the movie I hated the release of it because no slip cover no special features just standard Blu-ray transfer and they didn't Mark it down to any lower than $30. But this actually has some stuff here. It's got audio commentary with, with stars Jack Black and Kyle Glass. Which, of course, you know, the Tenacious D, you know. Audio commentary with director Liam Lynch. Deleted size extended scenes. Archival featurettes. Home movies. Hello Clock News. Inter internet shorts. Music videos. And theatrical trailers. So... There's stuff here for this release, but I don't. I am so happy to have this movie that I did just have to pre-order it just myself. But it does make me very angry that this does not have a slipcover. That doesn't. It doesn't have, you know, anything to it to really make it worth that three dollars price point. I think Shout Factory is stealing money at this point. I guess not stealing because you're willingly giving it to them, but like. Holy shit. Mark down your shit, guys. Too pricey. But I do love that release. Uh, happened at all, I guess. So, it is what it is. But I got this really excited about this Footloose thing. So, I don't I don't know which one I'm going to watch first. Uh, I am watching through Godzilla tw 2014 at the moment. Trying to finish that movie so I can do my review that I'm late to recording. But... Uh, yeah, great releases from the studios, I guess. And I'm excited to dive into all of these. Let me know your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe.